Hello, welcome to my new video. I do apologise, it has been a while since I've um, uploaded a video, but it's just getting time, like, been me jabbing all that, like, but when I can, I'll do, I'll do a video, like, you know. Um, this is um, another transmitter video, it's just showing you how to build your own simple little radio station. Um, no special parts needed, all these are very common parts. It's a single transistor, so extremely straightforward to, to build and test, and it works great, as you'll see in this video. Very easy to build. Oh, here's the parts. Should we start making this um, little FM transmitter? Okay, let's have some fun. Right, the um main part of this circuit board, the positive and negative rails, we just made it using some simple house wire. Well, we had our wiring done on the house a few years ago and this was just a bit of spare we had in the shed. So be careful when you strip this because uh, one slip in your fingers are going to split open. So we used just the, um, just the earth. There you go. That's all done for your circuit board. A solid one. Cool. Okay, this is going to be the um, outline of the circuit board. This solid core wire. Um, best thing to do with it though is give it a quick rub down with some fine paper. Or rough, doesn't matter. Um, just to take the shine off it. It'll make the solder easier to um, stick. Alright, we've done the outline of the board on here. So we can just copy that with this wire, just bend it to shape shouldn't be too difficult about that, I'll just tidy that up a bit Okay, this top half of the circuit, that'll be the um, positive rail, and the bottom is a negative. What we'll do, we'll just put these two 100 NF caps on either side, and that'll join the board together. What we'll do, we'll put a bit of flux on. Always use flux. It makes soldering so much easier. Right, let's get these two caps in. Okay, let's join these two arse together, the positive and negative rail. A bit awkward doing this because I'm leaning over the actual camera like on the light and everything else, so it's just not the best. There we go. There we go, it's together now. Remember that's your positive, that's your negative. Two caps are in. Let's move out of the way. Alright, we've got a 10 PF cap that goes across the transistor, it goes across the it goes across the collector 
on the emitter what we'll do I'll twist the legs around the actual transistor it just makes it a lot easier after so what I'll do I'll just straighten the legs out on the cap that's it just place it next to the transistor and twist the legs around the transistor there you go there's a long side, I hope you can see that, that must have zoomed in. Right. It just makes putting it together easier later, it allows all the parts falling, falling apart. There you go. Alright, you can build this in whatever order you like, it doesn't really matter, whatever suits you. Um, what we'll do, we'll try and get this transistor like sort of in the middle. What we'll do now, this is the 470 ohm resistor that goes on the emitter, that's the load resistor, what we'll do, will I install that next Put a slight bend in the um, collector side. Um, you'll see why I'll do this in a bit because we have got four components that connect to this. But just easier to put a bend in it. Next part is making the four, four turn coil for the tank circuit. Very easy to do. Just get a three millimeter drill bit. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Now the four turn coil. Okay, let's install the coil. I've shaped it as you can see, I put a bend in it, 90 degree, 90 degree bend, and I've tinned it just to make it easier to solder. Now straightforward to fit. Okay, if you build a disc like a lot of my subscribers do, it should look something like this. Okay, next to install is these two 33 PF capacitors. These go across the core to form the tank circuit. You could replace one of these with an adjustable capacitor, a variable cap, like this one here. But the whole idea of this transmitter is to build this without using any hard to find parts. I mean, these. These are getting quite hard to find now. I think it was Maratta or Maretta. Uh, they used to make these. Um, but another company took over and the, the quality of these now is just rubbish. Anyway with this build we'll, we'll just use two of these and we'll adjust the frequency with the core. Just expanding and compressing it. we we'll get about 10 megahertz out of it. Ok let's put these in. Okay, next to install is a 47k resistor that goes from positive to the base of the transistor. Okay, let's solder on the, um, the transistor side first. I mean, this is not the ideal way to solder. Normally, I would you know use the solder and apply the solder as I'm soldering, but with all the equipment, the lights, and the um, camera. 
That's impossible to do. And that should look somewhat similar to this. If you're building it. coming down hard. It's got a bend in that. These are the two audio capacitors. Two, what are they, 100 NFs. So I'm going to do solder these together and place them into the circuit. Next part is this um, one end. Only got one part now, it's the um, 10PF cap on the output to the antenna. That's it then. Well, to my car audio input lead. It's just one I've got hanging around here. You'll have a left, right, and the ground. I'll keep it quite short. There we go, left, right, ground. Okay, that's all cut to size. It'll go about out. You got your left. Your right, obviously it's a mono transmitter, and there's a negative there. Let's get that in play. I don't know, we just put a plastic tie. So now like that. Antenna next, I'll put the antenna in. So, secure the arm and turn it out. Well, the last item is the power connector. That's it, the last tie. Let's just secure the uh, power connector. Hold on. Okay, it's all built. 
There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to do this yourself. I mean, they're very common parts. That's why I've used as many as the same parts as possible, like the 100 in here, 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 and one over here. Uh, so that's four, four of the same parts, plus two 47k resistors. Um, one here, one here. Um, 470 ohm. All, all very easy to get hold of, very common parts. The transistor, the 2N3904, extremely common, very, very popular transistor. So all these parts are very easy to get yourself. Um, and the actual part of the circuit board here, the um, you know the negative and positive rail, that's just a bit of a um, two mil solid copper wire. That was out of a twin and a half um, cable from the house that was left over. So very easy to build. Should we try it? And I haven't tried this yet. Here's my frequency counter. You might have seen this in various other videos. Let's get some light on it. Okay, here we go. Fingers crossed. Oh, no smoke. That's a good sign. Here we go. Oh, 89, 89 megahertz. Smack on. What we'll do, uh, we'll play some audio and see if the audio side works and we'll give it a quick test. Ok, I'll show you how you quickly change a frequency. Very simple. Let's put the... Um, as you can see that's on... Um, was it? 87.8. So, yeah. Right, that's so what we'll do. The port. What we'll do, we'll expand this. Just be careful, that's it. Right, now we're on 91.9. So, it's quite simple. Push your call in, frequency goes down. As you can see, 99 megahertz. 98, it will get down to about 86, I think. And expand it out. And the frequency will go up to 96 there. This is about as far as you'd want to stretch that core before it snaps. As simple as that really. Okay, we've established it's got a frequency output. So we'll, do, we'll try the audio now. This is just an MP3 player I bought from eBay a while ago. I've got some royalty free music because you know what they're like. That's playing is it? Oh, it is now. <laughs> okay. Let's try it. Oh, there you go. Crap, crappy music, but that's amazing. Actually, it does sound quite good, doesn't it, for a simple little transmitter? I mean, I'll prove this is a transmitter, obviously. I can amazingly touch both rails without it changing frequency and the inputs. Oh, oh. No, this is the coil. Amazingly, I can touch the coil and it stays on frequency. If I touch it with both hands, it'll probably go off. There you go. I can touch the top of it. Stays on frequency. Just right with a better radio. Turn this one off. There you go. You can see this one up. Just a while though. Banger. Let's see if it works out the house. Just 
so got a good signal. Oh, the door shut. Okay. Let's have the ice and it's working down there. With your car stereo, you'll get about uh, six, seven hundred meters plus, quite easily. Good on it. Very simple circuit, but as you can see, works a treat. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done. And I will do some more videos. It's just getting time to do them. All stay safe. Bye bye.